Hey, it's Vaughn, and welcome back to Undertale, ladies and gentlemen. This is part eight. Man, you know, I love recording this game. Like, I, I never know what to expect. It's just a great time for me to record this. Uh, so I'm really excited to get going. In the last episode, we went into these bushes here, and we saw an exchange between Papyrus and Undyne. Undyne being very, very intimidating. Wow, I just realized in between the last episode and this one, I went all the way back to that other save point when I could have just moved forward a tiny bit, and there was another one waiting for me here. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Well, that's good. Let's keep moving forward and see what we got, shall we? When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. When four bridge seeds align in the water. All right, so we just take one and do that. This isn't really a puzzle. I mean, this is incredibly simple to figure out, but uh, game design is about like, you know, introducing new mechanics early and then having that player call back on that mechanic later on. So maybe we'll have to do this again, but uh, there's a crack here. You can see this crack is different from the rest of the wall's texture. I wonder if that's significant at all. Can't activate it, nevertheless. Okay, so we have a new fight on our hands. Aaron flexes in. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Check, shoe, or flex. I'm going to assume we need to have a flex off. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Flexing contest? Okay. Flex more, winky face. Okay, so some of the monsters use similar attacks. Like, we've seen that teardrop one before. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Alright, um... Let's flex again, then. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you, too. Nice! I won't lose, though, winky face. Okay. I won't get hit, though. Usually when I say that, I do get hit. Say something along those lines. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Let's do it again. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. You won. You earn 0 XP and 30 gold. See, I'm getting the hang of it, although that one was rather easy, to be honest. We have a sign down there, and wow, this music is way too loud. Let me turn that down a little bit. Can't even hear myself talk, which sometimes is a good thing. Like I said, yep, we're probably going, going to have this mechanic again. Okay, so... We need to make them go all the way across or they won't work, right? Can we put them anywhere? How about like right here? Yes, okay. So let's grab this one and put this one right here. No, crap, did I just mess it up? We might have to like come back here. I think we probably will. All right, let's put that one there. And why is that not working? Oh, I see, maybe they have to, huh, let me try that again. I think it, hopefully if we, go to a different screen and come back. Yeah, they will be reset. Okay, so how in the world? Maybe you have to like make a straight line. Oh, I see, okay, I see what we have to do. So we actually have to make like a line of them. Um, we can't just make like three, they have to go across the entire way. So one, two. If I was a game developer, I would make this sign say like, what'd you expect, you know? There's, there's nothing here, sorry. Like, you know, just. As a joke, to waste some time or something. All right, there we go. That worked. Oh my God, are you kidding me? We have to do it on the other side? Yep, can't activate it there. All right, it's time to see what all of this hard work has given me. Probably nothing, going to assume nothing. Congratulations, you failed the puzzle. <laughs> yep, I was expecting that. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can do anything with these flowers down here to the bottom right, so. I think the only thing that we can do, hold on a second. If an error is made, the Bell Blossom can call Bridge Seeds back to where they started. Well, son of a bitch, I just wasted a bunch of time. And that just replaces them. Okay, so we should be able to just go like this, right? All four don't have to be in a line, do they? Yes, it would appear that all four have to be in a line. Well, how is that going to work? We can only put three here. There's not enough space for four, right? Or is this four spaces? Actually, no, this is three. Hmm, let me figure this out. Okay, I think I got it now. So basically, we want to come to this spot and uh, make them all go upwards. See, it tricks you into thinking you want to make a horizontal bridge, but actually, we want to make a vertical bridge. So you just need to connect four, and then they form. And there we go. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. 
So, what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a dusty tutu. Is that true? Are you wearing a dusty tutu? Yes. So you are wearing a dusty tutu. Got it, wink wink. Have a nice day. And I actually forgot in the last episode that we can call Papyrus. Let's see what happens if we call him. This puzzle. I've got it. Try to build a bridge with the bridge seeds. Oh, interesting. So it looks like he gives us hints uh, on puzzles. Alright, so we have a couple of echo flowers here. Wishing room. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Okay. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. And what do we have? Washua shuffles up. What in the world is that thing? Looks like some mechanism with a duck and a head. I have no clue what that's supposed to be. Uh, let's see what we can do with it. Clean, joke, touch. Uh, let's go with clean. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. That's a good sign, right? Green means clean. Oh, damn it. Oh, we need to grab the green. We need to grab the green. Son of a bitch, Washua's looking for some good, clean fun. All right, I think we need to do that again. And grab the green, of course. Just like the uh, one with the uh, with the uh, vegetables. Smells like detergent. Okay, now the name is yellow. Okay, looks like we only need to grab one green thing, and then we can spare it. Come on, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. We have a telescope here. Look through the telescope? Of course. And I can move the cursor around. Check wall. Check wall. Not really sure what the point of this is. Obviously, it's a hint to check the wall, but I'm not sure which wall it's referencing. Okay, maybe like one of these walls? I don't really know. There's walls all over the place. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Maybe there's like a, uh, a hidden um, path that we can go into. Ah, I really don't. I really don't know. That's gonna give me a an unsettling feeling, like I'm missing out on something. Oh well, maybe it's referring to something further along the path. It can't be that, right? I mean, that's obvious. I don't know. Probably is. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words: the war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Okay, and what is this? No! There's another path backwards. Hopefully we can go backwards. I mean, I don't see why we... Oh! Well, I guess not. Son of a bitch, there was another one of those things. I didn't realize it was a raft. Oh, well, we can only go this way now. Oh my god, okay. Well, that's a little bit different than the previous battles. So I guess we just need to run straight. It's not really tracking me well. Never mind. Oh! Okay, so if we get hit... Wait a second, can we pause? Nope, we can't activate the start menu. Alright. They track a little bit, but they're kind of easy to dodge. Um, so yeah. Son of a bitch, okay. And I think it's hurting me on the first time, too. Oh man, how many rounds of this are there? She can't see me in here, right? I'm stopped. I can't move. Okay, we can move now. Wow, that that little guy saved my life. Undyne's biggest fan. I'm trying to see if I can, like, 
talk to him, but I'm not running into anything. I don't think uh, he's there anymore. Okay, so what is this? Just a pier. Okay. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Okay, moving on. That was intense. What is this? This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. And we have yet another mouse by a uh, piece of cheese. Squeak. <laughs> Makes sense. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. Moving on. Man, this guy's just everywhere, isn't he? I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Use the telescope? Yeah, of course. Okay, this time it's just red. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, if you can't tell, our uh, eye is red. It would seem that uh, Sans pulled a prank on us. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. But we didn't pay him anything. Use the box. Let's just see if there's anything inside. It doesn't look like it. Maybe we should be storing um, our excess equipment, though. But I don't know if we were supposed to keep it. Uh, let's just store the toy knife, since that was like an upgrade. The faded ribbon and the stick. Wait, no. The faded ribbon was an upgrade to the bandage, right? The stick and the bandage are the two that we started out with, right? I think. So we'll keep it like that, I guess. Okay. Hello, little dewdrop. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Definitely not. Let's see what's up here. Hey, it's this guy again. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Nice cream. It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. No thanks. Well then, tell your friends. There's ice cream hidden in the depths of a watery cavern. It's all about location, my friend. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. <laughs> it's a box for storing punch cards. It's empty right now. Yeah, I'm not really seeing the point of buying the punch cards unless there's something special that happens if you do it. Man, I'm really sad that we missed, like, a location. There's gotta be a way to go back. There's gotta be some sort of fast travel in this game, right? I don't know. Um, let's go to the right, though. Looks like there's just a duck on the other side there. We can't activate anything, so let's go back this way. Let's see what's down here. This music is reminding me of Shala's theme from Chrono Trigger, and A plus to anyone that gets that. You hear a passing conversation, so, don't you have any wishes to make? You hear a passing conversation, hmm, just one, but it's kind of stupid. Anything over here? You walk into Mold's Mall. This is the one that we can just spare, right? Yeah, easiest fight ever. Okay, let's hold off on, uh, actually this is the end of it. Let's see what's back here. What is this? It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? You got the ballet shoes. Okay. You equipped ballet shoes. I should be reading the description of these first. But, um... Uh, I'm assuming it's just an upgrade to what we already have. So, let's go back here. And let's see, we can go to the right. Nope, we can only go downwards. And now we can go to the right. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery, but I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A dusty tutu. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. I know, I just realized that now. He was, he was talking about Undyne, and if we didn't wear the tutu, she wouldn't have recognized us. Maybe she wouldn't have attacked us at all. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Okay, so Papyrus is trying to warn us about uh, Undyne. What do we have here? 
Aaron flexes in. All right, Aaron. All righty. Moving on. Man, these textures are sort of ugly in this location, aren't they? It's cool. It's mystical, but they're sort of ugly. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. Okay. Uh, there was some stuff to the bottom there, but I, we couldn't get to it. I don't think. Washua and Aaron appear. Alrighty. Okay, that was sort of an interesting fight. I think I should I should have shown it, but uh, basically their attacks like were combos, so that's cool. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Is Undertale actually getting dark? Um, what the hell is that? Mm -mm, don't touch me. Hey there, notice you were here. I'm Onionson? Onion, oh, Onionson, you hear? Because it's an onion. Uh, okay? I can't talk to it. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. That, that's that's great, Onionson. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. Yeah. And the aquarium's full. Uh, anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? What the fuck? <laughs> hey, there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around, have a good time. In Waterfall! Oh my god, alright, sure, yeah, why not, mm-hmm. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Okay, looks like this thing's a bit shy, huh? Um, smile? You smile, you ask to see Shiren smile too. Shiren gets quieter. In the corner, Aaron nods his head approvingly. Oh, Aaron's making an appearance here, huh? Toot. Oh! Okay. Shiren hums very fast. Oh, I get it. It's a, it's a siren, but it's shy. I get it. Okay, I think we need to hum, maybe? You hum a funky tune. Shiren follows your melody. Shiren seems much more comfortable singing along. You are in zero XP and 30 gold. Great. The northern room hides a great treasure. What about over here, though? This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. An incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. Uh, you know, the plot seems kind of convoluted and as useless <laughs> as in every RPG. No judgments yet, though. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Only the first eight? What? There's a piano here. Play it. Okay, X is quit. And we can move the cursor. Okay. X equals quit. Huh, I'm not sure exactly what we're supposed to be doing here. Only the first eight are fine. But we don't have any reference to what we should be playing, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Huh, I'm not exactly sure what the point of this is just yet. Maybe we'll find out later. There is only one exception, the soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Never say never, sign. It's a statue, the structures at its feet seem dry. The structures at its feet seem dry. We, do, we don't have an item for that, do we? I mean, we have a snowman piece, but I don't think that's going to do anything. Alright, I don't think we can do anything with that just yet. Please take one, okay? Take an umbrella? Of course. You took an umbrella. Great. Return the umbrella? No. 
Uh, let's see if there's a save point up here. If not, we're going to be ending the episode pretty soon. But there's got to be a save point pretty soon, right? Yo, you got an umbrella. Awesome. Let's go. Dude, did I say you could hang out with me? Like, why do you think we're friends, buddy? But I guess my hands are tied. Is this like oil on the ground or puddles? Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was human, I would wet the bed every night knowing she was going to beat me up. Ha ha. Alright, let's keep moving. There's an echo flower over there. So one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. Not that cool, little buddy. Sorry. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teacher. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Oh, we can still move. Okay, so there's obviously a kingdom in the distance there. This guy's, I guess, taking it all in. Return the umbrella. No, it's still raining. Why would I return the umbrella? Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Oh, okay. So we do have to return it. Put it back. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. <laughs> I love that little animation where he trips and falls. Okay, and here is our save point. We'll read the signs in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one, ladies and gentlemen. Things are getting interesting, but what else is new? I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.